Hey everyone, I am so excited to share this tutorial with you, how to create these gorgeous foam marble countertops. Um, it's not real marble, it, it is painted, it's amazing. You can do this, it looks way more complicated than it is. wrong or right way to do this. It's all up to you what look you're going for. I would say though if I was going to do it again, I would probably have put some thicker veins in here and not gone over them quite as much with paint so they were a little more pronounced. I loved the way mine turned out but again, I guess if I were to go back, I would probably make them a little more pronounced. So it just depends on what look you're going for. I'm really sorry about the lighting in this video because it really doesn't do it justice. It looks a little yellow here, um, but you will see a difference as your paint dries, even with doing this step, that as it dries, um, the, the veins underneath will come through and kind of pop through a little more, especially if you've really watered down your paint. Yeah, do not be afraid to use water. The idea is just to create lots of fun flow and movement with the water and that cool marbled effect. So keep adding it. It's going to take a little longer to dry the more water you use, but you won't regret it. I actually returned an oil-based paint that I was planning on using for this countertop and instead used the water-based paint I already had and the primer and went with this Gianni top coat because of the awesome reviews that I had read. It's an automotive grade uh, top coat that is heat resistant and if it scratches, you just sand it down and re-coat. So I'm really excited to see how these hold up. Be sure to stop by my blog, allthingswithpurpose.com, for full details on products I used and the rest of the kitchen remodel. Thanks for watching!